This feels like a good one. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Burly hook. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Kill Outdoors. Uh, before we get started with this video, um, I want to say y'all stay tuned for the end. Um, we got two neighboring uh, hunting clubs. They're coming up with some events. Got to give them shout outs. Uh, Young Bucks Hunting Club. They're having um, a rabbit dog uh, trial. And then uh, L&B Hunting Club is also having um, a trial. And so uh, y'all stay tuned for the end. I'm going to put the flyers up there so y'all can have all the information. So y'all can go out and support um, these guys. Good group of guys. Good hunting clubs. Now, for this video, we out here today. Pond looks good. We got a uh, rattle trap, red of course. You got a uh, thunder cricket, got a uh, rage trail on it. I dipped that in uh, the spike orange color. Got the strike king jig, another rage trailer dipped in the spike orange color. Got the wacky worm. Gotta have my rage magnum bug tied on. Uh, square bell crankbait, red of course. It's springtime that time of year. Um, got regular old single worm on number five hook. I ain't got two crappy fishing rods. So I'm going to get out here. Uh, hopefully set these bass up on the banks. I went out the other day and I actually saw uh, four bass break top water. I caught one of them um, on that magnum bug. I didn't have no top water tied on. Pitched it over in the tree that he jumped out of. Caught them about a pound and a half. But uh, we can see if these big girls biting today. I think that the jig, chatterbait, and rattle trap will be the ticket. So let's see if that holds true. Y'all stay tuned. Turn the camera on when I get some action. Kind of burning through there fast as I can. Like I said, anytime it hits something, I'll stop, pause it for a second, and keep going. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hit it on the pause, just like I said, y'all. Hit it on the pause. Nice one, about two pounds, maybe two and a half. Now look at how many times I had to throw at that tree before he, uh, before he reacted. Got to be careful in the way he's hooked. I don't want to get that first trouble hook in my mouth. I mean, in my hand. There we go. There we go. Nice little chunk. Yeah. Decent fish, that ain't taking long. About five minutes on the water. Get a quick little picture. Send to my buddies, let them know they're biting. All right, folks, time to get them back in the water. Hopefully we can get on some bigger ones. Like I said, that's first five minutes. You can't ask for nothing better than that. Here's the square build I got. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't even know Who's the maker of this? It was it was very cheap. I might have got it at Walmart, to be honest with you. It's got the eye on the back. You can see the pattern. Got real nice patterns on it. But uh I believe it's four, four foot, four to six foot diving. When I when it hit the limb, I was reaching for the trolling motor to back the thing up, that joke would hit it. I'm gone. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good sign. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go one. Oh, this is Hey, let me... Oh yeah, oh yeah, another nice one. All right, all right, go. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Was on, on the phone. We got one on the jig. About the same size as the last one, about two, two and a half pounds. That's on the structure. Uh, maybe about two pounds, a little smaller. Uh, on the structure bug. Jig, dip that uh, dip the trailer and um, spiked it in the uh, orange color. They seem to like that with the green pumpkin, uh, crawl, strike, strike king, structure bug, structure jig, excuse me. Yes, sir. Not a bad one. All right, folks, go ahead and get them back in the water. I mean, these fish seem that's two fish in less than 10 minutes. That's not bad. Both of them around a two pound uh two pound range so um hopefully we can get to these big girls here soon little buck bass that last one was right up on the bank 
They seem to like this jig. Like I said, they can hit that fast moving red orange color or they can hit the jig. I'm fine by it. However they want it, <laughs> I can give it to them. <clears throat> There's a tree in the water that kind of comes out a little bit. Or well, what's left of the tree anyway. Sometimes in the summertime I catch bass around it. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good one. At least he felt like it. He got caught up in that tree for a second. Oh, he might side of the last one. Right on, folks. Up to another two and a half pounder. Went on ahead and got the, got the uh, net just in case. There you go, on the jig. Green pumpkin crawl color, right up on the bank. I mean, the bass is cold, but he was right there at the, at the start of that tree. Um, so yeah, not a bad fish, number three. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, that was fish number three. And um, first fish came out of the tree. It was over deep water, probably about eight, nine feet of water on a crankbait. And the last two have come, I mean, literally feet from the bank, maybe two feet off the bank um, on a jig. First one was crankbait, last two was on a jig. So I'm kind of finding a pattern. I think they, uh, I think the majority of them going to be right up close. Um, I'm going to keep on down this bank line, see how many more I can catch, and see if they're all around the same size. And if they are, then I'll back off from the bank a little bit and um, throw the crankbait. Um, might throw the jerk bait and that red uh, red rattle trap, but uh, so far so good. Not a bad day for this time of year. Oh, shoot. Fish on here. <laughs> Didn't even know it. Must have been swimming back to me. I didn't mean to wind them all the way up. Had no idea there was a fish on there. Huh. Another one on the jig. It's swimming right to me. These bass will get right up on the bank, right up beside some wood on the bank. Just press right upside side that wood, warm themselves up, and wait for an easy meal to come by. They definitely got a little more aggressive in the past two weeks. <clears throat> there you go. It's a decent one. Same size as the other ones, I think. There we go. Come on in here. Another two pounder, folks. Another two pounder. Hey, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Perfectly hooked on the jig. Beautiful bass. Can't complain. They ain't very big, but at least we catching them. All right, I'll go ahead and get this thing back in the water. See, we can't catch another one. They're really loving this jig today. I think it's me dipping a uh, trailer in that orange spike. I think that has done the ticket. Let's keep on fishing. All right, folks, I'm going to take this red eye shad. Look, this crankbait rattle trap. It's also what it's known by. Started making long casts, letting the sink to the bottom, and just yo yo in it all the way back to the boat. Trying to get a uh, reaction straight. If you're not throwing rattle trap this time of year, along with the other baits like jerk bait, jig, chatter bait, I don't know what to tell you because when the rattle trap is on, 
I mean, you talking about fun. It was a very fun bite. I mean, they absolutely crush it. My favorite way to fish it is to yo-yo it, just like I'm doing. Only whine when I'm tilting the rod back down. Oh, there you go. There you go, one. Well, this feels like a good one, folks. This feels like a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a better fish. Burly hook. <laughs> How about that, y'all? How about that? Yo-yo in the rattle trap. Just talked about it. And there you go. First cast out in the middle. You got up about a three pounder. Not bad. Let me get him out this net and then I'll uh, get a better look at him. All right, folks, got him out the net. Just gotta get the hooks out of him, jeez. There we go. Rattle trap, not a bad fish. Get them back in the water. There he goes. And that's just right out in the middle, y'all. Threw up at the bank, and that's actually the biggest fish of the day. Threw up at the bank, been catching ones around two pounds. That's first three pounder. See if we can't catch another. Had a leaf on it. <clears throat> I still take it, run this shallow, you just keep it. You just yo-yo it a lot faster. Or you can just steadily, steadily reel it, either one. Both, both ways work, but when I'm fishing deeper water, I love to yo-yo that bait. The bass are suspended or down below it. They feel like it, sometimes it can just trigger them. They will absolutely crush it, like that last fish y'all just saw. <clears throat> Another long cast. It's probably about four feet of water over there. Just yo-yo that bait. Yo-yo that bait all the way in. Yo-yo let it fall. Yo-yo let it fall. Oh, there he is. There's another one, y'all. There's another one. Smaller. But once again, yo-yoing. It's actually the smallest fish of the day. But once again, all I was doing was yo-yoing. He came up and grabbed it. Like I said, it's a very fun bite for y'all. If you haven't tried it, just get it. Get out and try it. There's so many different ways you can fish this. It's versatile. You can fish it deep. You can fish it shallow. And that was probably about four feet of water where he was at. So, try one cast this way. Oh my God! Am I really caught in that tree? I did not know those. There we go. I said I did not know those branches went that far out. Oh, here we go. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, he pulled off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was reaching for the net. <laughs> that one was probably every bit of five pounds. Oh, my gosh. Right at the boat. <sighs> he just didn't get a good hook set. I was getting ready to bring it out the water when he hit it. Well, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I was able to catch a few uh, decent bass. I lost a really nice one at the boat, but hey, that's okay. That's why they call it fishing. Um, as always, I appreciate all y'all. And just like I promised at the beginning of this video, um, y'all stay tuned um, for two flyers of two hunting clubs that I, I know very well that I've hunted with. And uh, they're a great group of guys, Young Bucks Hunting Club up in Gooseland and uh, l &B Hunting Club. Uh, they're both putting on um, different events. Um, Young Bucks got a rabbit beagle trial and uh, 
L and B got a hound trout. Those y'all got deer dogs. Y'all bring them out there. Um, put them on some game and see where uh, see where you fall in, in line. Uh, I went to the last one they had. It was uh, real nice. I was a field field judge and that, and uh, had a great time. So y'all support these two hunting clubs. And as always, I appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.